Excellent. So people who are fueling up in Utah right now are just frustrated because it seems like the prices are going up. Well, nationally, we're hearing stories about oil prices being down and that prices are actually slipping and going lower as we're heading into the summer travel season. Why is Utah so much above the national average right now? It's your bad luck that you're kind of landlocked. So you have a couple things that are going on right now. Uh, number one is we have some refinery shutdowns. Refineries um, are not designed to run forever. Um, they're designed to come down at certain times. It's called a shutdown. We have planned maintenance so they can change parts and pieces to keep the environment and their people safe. And bad luck for y'all is the refineries that feed your retail gasoline and diesel supplies in your area. Some of them are shut down. So there's less supply of refined fuels. That should come back in a couple of weeks. And then the other thing that's going on is, is the U.S. has a summer and winter blend of fuels of gasoline. Um, and we just switched to the summer blend. And every time we switch to the summer blend, the beginning of May, the prices go up because there's there's a shortage of supply, right? Because they just start making it again. Uh, and then the fact that to get the raw feedstock to the refineries in your area, can't do it cheaply. Um, you don't have oceans and rivers, right? It has to be done by pipeline or rail, which is a little bit more expensive. So uh, the price you pay for living in such a beautiful part of the country is that your price of fuels are going to be a little bit higher right now than everybody else's. But it'll, it'll, it'll come down. When you say it'll come down, uh, what can we expect it to come down to? Because it's starting to feel like $4 a gallon might be the new reality. And I don't think any <laughs> of us ever think we're going to go back to a dollar a gallon, even though that would be nice. What could be the price where we start to say, okay, this is normal again, and we're not at an elevated price? So the world itself is in an energy shortage. There's, a, there's an absence of enough hydrocarbons on the market. So it's not just you, it's everybody in the world is paying elevated energy prices. Um, the new norm, boy, if I could call that one, I, I, I would be I would be <laughs> betting money. Um, um, you, you should see 20, a 20, 25 cent drop in your part of the country in the next couple of months. It should stay that way unless something major happens with supply. Um, you know, we have a war breakout in the Middle East. Things could escalate between Russia and Ukraine. Um, our own politicians in, in, the, in the federal government have done things to make the oil and gas industry hesitant to invest in new infrastructure and new wells. So you pull all that together, and unfortunately, you might be right. $4 a gallon might be the new norm for a while. Not fun at all. Um, so you're saying that we might see in the next month or two a price drop. Uh, so we aren't going to see that bump that we usually see after Memorial Day where all of a sudden you're going on a road trip and the prices go up? So that that bump will will happen. It happens and once again. It's supply and demand. There's X amount of gasoline. Gasoline has a shelf life, and they try to anticipate the increase in demand when everybody starts driving. But what they don't want to do is stockpile too much because then they have to give it away for pennies because it, it has a shelf life. So you will see that Memorial Day bump. But if you look at over the next say next quarter, next three months, you should see a drop after that bump. Okay, so a bump and then a drop. All right, so a little good news on the horizon. When you say that there's some refineries offline in our area, are you talking about refineries actually in Utah or just in a multi-state region around us? No, it, actually your refineries, except for one, I believe, are all up and running just fine. It's your neighbor refineries, uh, Arizona. I think there's one in California that feeds uh, retail fuels to y'all. So it's those refineries that are down doing planned maintenance that will come back up. Usually that downtime is, is maybe a month and it's been about three weeks. So in the next week or two or so, they should come back online. It's going to take a little bit of time to reestablish supply, but then you'll see prices drop. I think we all have short-term brains, and we just get annoyed when prices get too high for whatever our tolerance level is. How are we doing compared to the same time last year? Oh, y'all are way better than the same time last. It was y'all had it really bad last year, and 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 right after the pandemic as well. And that was pure logistics, right? Because you're landlocked, but you're yeah, you're doing better. But you are right. Human nature is we just remember the bad stuff. We don't remember the good stuff. Uh, I think people are talking about another hurricane season being bad again. Could that bump prices up towards the end of summer as well if we see more hurricanes? Always, always. So you got to look at where the crude oil is produced. Uh, we import a, a decent amount. We like heavy, complex crudes. Our refineries are more efficient with that. Those crudes come from places like Canada, Venezuela, the Middle East, deep water Gulf of Mexico. Um, the light, sweet crudes that we produce in the U.S., like you hear about in the frack fields, uh, that those fuel those those crudes are usually sold abroad or mixed 
and our, and our current refineries is heavier. So if we have a, a hurricane season and it pulls the Gulf of Mexico production offline for even a day or two, yes, you will see there's less supply of crude to, to turn into gasoline, so the prices of gasoline will go up. But it'll also come right back down once production commences again. I think it was about a year ago we were all complaining about gas prices. Everyone was frustrated. I think the Biden administration uh, sold off some of our oil reserves, used some of it to bring down prices. Has that been restocked and replenished at this point, or do we have less in our reserves right now? So we have less, and, and it scares the bejeebies out of me. So the Strategic Petroleum Reserve is there really for one thing. If something really bad happens in the world, if there's a major war that breaks out, another huge pandemic, an economic crisis, um, that is there to fuel our country and our war machine. We're down to 17 days of supply. So imagine your car, the needle is on the red part of the E. Right. If something really bad happens, we can only fuel our military and our country for 17 days. The strategic petroleum reserve is so low and there should be plans, concrete plans to fill it back up. There are none. And that just scares, scares the, the old Marine and me to death. How many days should we have to feel comfortable in your view? Um, six months is a good number. Um, uh, this is the lowest it's been. The strategic petroleum reserve has been since the 80s. Um, and it's just it's just dangerously low. And regardless of what political side you sit on, being able to make sure that we have secure, abundant, reliable energy for our citizens is, should be priority number one for everybody, both Democrats and Republicans. Anything else we should know right now as we're filling up our tank if we're thinking about how the world works? Um, we, we're going to have high fuel prices, unfortunately, high uh, electrical prices for another year or so. Then depending what happens, the, the way it's going right now, it looks like that hydrocarbon production is going up around the world so that that lack of supply should be met in another year right so just everybody just hold on for another year um, we should be fine after that we'll see prices come back down and stabilize all right i'll tell my teenager that or tell myself that because he still <laughs> wants me to pay for the gas in his car so hopefully in a year it'll be a little easier it should be all right thank you so much for your time today you're very welcome Have